Well, good morning. We are on our way this morning to the wonderful city of Prague. And it's just an amazing, amazing thing to be in the train station after not having been in it for so long. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how that I just quickly memorized the seat number and the wagon number. And uh, so I don't have to take my ticket out over and over and over again. So the thing is, if you want to memorize the seat numbers instantly and not forget them, you really want to have a method like the major method for memorizing numbers. Instead of getting going in your pocket and out of your pocket for your tickets, you just remember what train you're in, what uh, seat you're in, and uh, you can just rest and relax. And so this morning in the taxi, it's raining, kind of tired from getting up early and so forth, but away we go looking at the ticket and I just see John Nash smashing a number N on a lamb who is biting the tail of a dog named Lily and all that helps me remember is that it's wagon 262 and seats 53 and 55. Let's see if we got that correct on the ticket. And, uh, it's just information I would have forgotten if it hadn't been for uh, just making these quick images and it's really easy. So how does the major method work? So we're now in Czech and the major method is very interesting here as it is everywhere else in the world because it helps you remember things. Now I haven't looked at the mnemonics that I had but I remember it was John Nash smashing an N at a lamb that was doing something to um, to Lily the dog and so that would tell me that I'm in car 262 and the seats were uh, um, 53 and 55 right so how is this working well the major method lets you make words from numbers because you associated the numbers with sounds and that's just a very fun thing to be able to do and uh, it all starts with single digits that you associate with sounds. So the first, you know, there's, there's different uh, cultures that use the major method differently, but um, they uh, basically tend to follow pretty much the same pattern internationally anyway, which is that zero tends to be associated with S, and one with T or D, and two with N. So if you remember, I have 262 for the wagon number that we're in and uh, it's John Nash, right? So that, that's where that N is coming from, the two. And then that John Nash is smashing an N onto this lamb. That's where the other N is coming from. Um, so to go through the whole list really quickly, three is M, four is R, five is L, six is a J, SH, or CH sound, seven is K, eight is a, a, a B, or sorry, a B or a F sound, and nine is a B or P sound. And uh, a lot of people, they think that there's just a difficulty in remembering that, but I think they're overthinking it because this should take about five minutes. Um, I'm not gonna go through suggestions for them all, but zero being an S or soft C sound, just think of a snake eating its own tail. And you know, that makes a, a, a circle, right? Like a zero. Uh, one, the shape of uh, one is in T or D, so they have these downstrokes. N is two. N has two downstrokes. N, like that, right? And uh, three is a mustache on its side, and so forth. And four is like a background, a back, upset. Uh, uh, four is a R facing backwards. You know, like there are options that you can come up with. I don't want to give them all to you. I want you to actually sit down and write out the list of numbers zero to nine and think about how that you could create an association for them that will allow you to remember those consonant uh, uh, associations because then you can make words. And uh, one thing that a lot of mnemonists do is they make long lists of words so that they can memorize a lot of information. And uh, so, you know, when you see something like 26, then John Nash just instantly comes to mind. The whole thing is, is that it's really fun and simple to do, and you never have to pull out your tickets uh, to look at your seats or your wagon numbers and so forth, because it's all there for you, ready to go.
So I hope you enjoyed that little mini lesson from the train. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button below and stay tuned for the next video from this whirlwind tour through Europe. Look forward to sharing more memory secrets with you as we go along and uh, until we speak again, keep magnetic.